everyone welcome back to my channel this is Heidi from my reading life and I'm here today to discuss my October TBR check-in and a book haul so in October I read a total of 12 books six fiction and six nonfiction how very even of me um, and so you know that's the good side of the equation on the other side of the equation is the fact that October is my birthday month and so I may have brought in but let's not let's not be coy about it. I did bring in way more books than I read. So let's get this just out of the way. I'm going to go over my TBR balance sheet for the month of October. So of the 12 books that I read in the month of October, five of them I read off my shelf. Um, I unhauled one book and I brought in 19 books total. So that's a plus 13 for the month of October giving me a balance, let's see if we can see this, giving me a balance for my total TBR to 149. That means I started the year with 147 books on my TBR and I am currently at 149 books on my TBR. Folks, that's the wrong direction. That's not, <laughs> that's not what we wanna be doing. Um, but I knew October was gonna be a month um, where I was gonna exceed my limits because you know, you just can't help yourself on your birthday month, right? Um, so let's just get into the books that I brought into my house. These are the books that I either had purchased myself or were given to me as gifts. Now, this isn't the total 19 books uh, that came into my house in the month of October because I am planning to do another video, a special video with a subsection of the books that I brought in. My sister for my birthday gave me this huge bag of books that um, she had read and was getting rid of and so she gave them to me so those books i want to go through in another video with you and maybe do a try a chapter tag or something like that to see which ones i want to keep on my tbr but these books that i want to talk about today are books that i'm definitely um, either already reading right now or they are on my tbr so that's how those are going to be separated so first of all um i want to show you the two books that i received as gifts from Britta Bowler. Very kind of her to send these to me for my birthday. The first one is The Essential Feminist Reader by Estelle B. Friedman. Now you will have, you will have seen this if you watched my nonfiction November TBR um, because this book is on that. I have already started reading it. I have read the first two pieces of writing in this book. So what this is is a collection of writing spanning the time period from the 1400s all the way to the present day by various different authors writing on feminist theory and feminist um, thoughts, uh, political stuff having to do with feminism. Um, and it's already the first two pieces that I've read have been absolutely fascinating, especially considering the time period in which they were written. So very much um, looking forward to continuing to read this in the month of November. Britta also sent me uh, Claire of the Sea Light by Edward Danticat, um, who is a Haitian writer, I believe. Um, and we had had a discussion about how I sadly have not yet read any Edwidge Danticat. And so she very kindly sent me this one, which I am very excited about because it's about a little girl. Um, she goes missing from her small Haitian seaside town and it's about the community as they search for this little girl and all the truths that get revealed about the community. So cover gorgeous. Looking forward to that one. And I want to read more uh, Caribbean authors, so that's perfect. Uh, my daughter bought me two books for my birthday, one of which I am currently reading. This is a memoir, I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. Uh, this slim little memoir I am actually buddy reading right now with Britta, um, and it is really, really good. It is um, a very good companion piece of writing to go along with Cast, which I'm also reading right now. Cast by, um, I can't believe her name just went out of my head. <laughs> it's very Isabel Wilkerson. Yes. Um, and this, this memoir actually dovetails with that very nicely right now. I'm currently reading this as well um, for Nonfiction November. So um, I will report back, but I can tell you I'm about three fourths of the way through this and very much enjoying it. My daughter also bought me the latest Stephen King book. This is Stephen King, If It Bleeds, and this is his latest collection of short stories. I think there are four, 
four stories in this collection. Um, if I remember correctly, yes, four stories. So, um, you guys know my methodology when it comes to Stephen King, one of my favorite authors. This book will remain on my TBR pile until his next book is released because I always have to have one Stephen King book to look forward to that I have not yet read. The next three books were sent to me um, by my pal Doris from Aldi Books, and they are super exciting pieces of nonfiction. The first one is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Cam Kwamba and Brian Mueller. This is a YA um, piece of nonfiction about a young boy in Malawi, Africa. Um, and this young boy gets an idea for how to build a device to bring electricity to his family's home. Um, I think that Doris read this last year when she was reading South African fiction, uh, non South African um, literature and uh it sounded really good and there's also according to the sticker a film on netflix about that so that's good then a piece of science nonfiction. this is spineless the science of jellyfish and the art of growing a backbone by julie berwald um you guys know how much i love science nonfiction. this cover is awesome i love all nonfiction, pretty much about um marine sciences so <laughs> I know I will enjoy this um and I just think this cover is just so great I just love this cover so much so not too much more to say about that one until I read it and then you guys will have seen this one it's also on my nonfiction November TBR this is Broadsides from the Other Orders a book of bugs by Sue Hubble um Doris and I are going to be buddy reading this one in November and this is a series of essays I believe all about different bugs um yeah so each chapter is about a different order of bugs so it's going to be a very good um overview of bug life <laughs> now these last four books that i brought in are books that i purchased myself um with uh money that i received for my birthday so the first book is the next in the jd robb um in death series this is Golden in Death. This is number 50 in the series of um, futuristic police procedurals. Not much to say about that. Book 50 in the series. I can't really get into that too much. I also picked up The Color of Law, A Forgotten History of How Our Government Segregated America by Richard Rothstein. So you will have seen this all over booktube recently, I've noted. Um, and I think it can all uh, be directed to Doris from Aldi Books for why we all had been purchasing this book recently. She recently read this book and raved about it on her channel. Um, I have been interested in it. Uh, for a number of years and just had not yet gotten around to picking it up. This is all about um, the practice of redlining in America and how um, systemic racism was responsible for the way many of our communities are set up in America and how the races are held apart from each other um, very much on purpose. And uh, Doris says that this is an extremely hard-hitting and uh, important piece of nonfiction. So I am very much excited to get to this one. The next book of nonfiction I have here is The Unexpected President, The Life and Times of Chester A. Arthur. Um, this is the next book that I need to read for my presidential biographies project. Um, I am on good old Chester A. Arthur, who I don't know really anything about. I know that he was the vice president um, and so he was not at all expecting to be president. He didn't even want to be vice president. He kind of got uh, roped into it. And then James Garfield died unexpectedly. And he was thrust into this role that he never really wanted. Um, and this book, which just came out in, I think, 2016, um, 2017, uh, is supposedly tells the story of how... He, in the end, even though he was thought to be quite the grifter and quite the person to benefit from government contracts and all that sort of thing, he turned out to be, um, you know, a better than expected president. So I am very interested to read this. Chester A. Arthur had epic facial hair. I just have to tell you. I just have to say. And then the last book is another one that you will have seen on my nonfiction November TBR, and that's Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Um, this is a book that I've been meaning to get to for a very long time, 
and then Milkweed Press um, just reissued this book in this lovely anniversary edition, Naked Hardback, with this lovely uh, piece of sweet grass, braided sweet grass on the cover in green. Um, on the back it says, I could hand you a braid of sweet grass as thick and shining as the plate that hung down my grandmother's back, but it is not mine to give, nor yours to take. When Gashik belongs to herself, so I offer in its place a braid of stories meant to heal our relationship with the world. Um, and so I think this is a just a gorgeous book and I am, oh, it's even got, I didn't even know that. I hadn't flipped through it. Has some illustrations in there, surprisingly. Um, and it's just lovely, a lovely production. And um, I've heard that the actual writing in this book is also lovely and very profound and awesome. So very much looking forward to this one and hope to get through this one in November. It is a longer piece of nonfiction and uh, let's see how long it is. It is 382 pages and here's a picture of our author. Nice picture. Um, so yeah, that's my book haul. Um, like I said before, it's not everything that I brought in in the month of October. You're just gonna have to wait for another video to um, get the other half of this book haul. Um, and hopefully I will be able to get that done in, in not too long of a time period because I definitely want to share those books with you as well. Um, I hope that you had some good reading in the month of October. Um, let me know the best book that you read in October in the comments down below. I'd be very interested to hear about it and I will talk to you later.